Welcome to Google Summer of Code office hours. It's the 14th of July. Uh, reminder that we abide by the Jenkins Code of Conduct as we, as we interact with each other in these meetings and face-to-face -face and otherwise. So Aditya, thanks very much again for, for all that you're doing. Congratulations on the conventional commits plugins. I continue to see releases being delivered. Uh, are there any specific topics that you wanted to discuss today or any things where you wanted to, to raise a question? Yes, so I specifically joined this meeting to ask about the presentation that we are, about, uh, we are supposed to do next week. And regarding that, I wanted to know whether there is a particular slide template or anything that Jenkins would like the students to use. So any particular template to present or is there some, is it something that we can decide on our own? As far as I understand it, you can decide on your own. Uh, I'm a, I tend to be a lazy slide creator. And as a lazy slide creator, that usually means I go grab someone else's slide deck that, that was on a somewhat related topic or in a related theme and use it as my basis. But you can use whatever, whatever slide template works well for you. One of the things that has if you were looking for, hey, what, what basis could I use? You could grab the slides from one or more of last year's presentations and use those as a starting template if you'd like. That's a wonderful idea. I would do that. Uh, yeah, I was thinking to use our newcomer track side from uh, Contributor Summit. <laughs> so I wanted yeah. to ask you, shall I reuse that? That is an, and that's a great choice that for me using, using somebody else's deck as a starting point helps me not have to make all sorts of choices about design and layout that I don't, I'm no good at making those choices anyway. So, so yes, you are welcome to use the newcomer track slides as, as a base. Absolutely. I don't remember where I stole them from, but I think <laughs> I think it was from another presentation on contributing to Jenkins and they, they are certainly all open source and you are welcome to. Yeah, that makes my work easier and it, all, it has all sorts of Jenkins uh, mascot and logos so I don't really have to worry about making it Jenkins. <laughs> right. Well, and, and okay, you just, you just highlighted my reason, right, is someone who actually has more visual hints than I do thought about where to place images in the slides and thought about putting interesting images and that reminds me, oh yes, people like pictures. Slides should not just be words. What picture could I put here that would help people remember they should look at this slide? So yes, very good. Yes, yeah. okay, so I'll base my presentation on that and I'll definitely have a look at last year's presentation to get an overview of what's expected. That makes sense. Yeah, my understanding, I talked to Cara de la Marque earlier today, and my understanding is it's roughly 15 minutes of presentation and five minutes of, of Q&A. And, and so, and they'll allow that you could do the presentation live, or you could record it. For me, it usually works better if I do it live, because I don't spend a bunch of time then trying to create a really good recording. But if you're more comfortable creating a recording, you're you're welcome to record it, but we still need you live to be ready to answer questions, questions and respond to, to people. Yeah, right. So about that, I was thinking to do it live so that it is more interactive and I can explain the process while doing it. So good, very good. Yeah, and that that works, that certainly works very well for me. So by all means do that. Okay. So like one more question regarding the feedback this time. Uh, I did not actually receive any email from Google. So, uh, and I remember Kara told me that there will be an email or the Google form to fill from Google. So shall I wait, shall I ask them? Uh, well, so you may, have mis you may have misunderstood how the, what happens in Google Summer of Code. The, the phase one evaluation is provided by your mentors, not by you. And it's, they didn't open the form until the 12th of July and they will not close the form. They will not end the submission period until the 16th. After the 16th, I believe there is a, an optional segment 
that mentors are allowed to place where you will receive that text that they put in there. So, so in, in my case, I just submitted yesterday my, our, our, our mentoring team's evaluation of our project, and it included a number of questions about, hey, is, the, is your student on track? Are, how often do you interact with your student? Have the, how have the interactions been? Uh, those kinds of questions. And I don't know if those, the answers to those questions will actually be shared with the students, but there was a segment at the end which said, uh, what would you like to tell the student or something like that? And, and then we, I filled that in with, hey, how pleased we are with our results and how delighted we are with, with the students interactions with us. So you may receive something from Google Summer of Code, but I would not expect you to receive that until for sure after the 16th of July when they close the, the period where mentors submit their evaluations. Oh, okay. Uh, because I remember reading an email that students are also to submit an evaluation of the whole process oh. with the organization and the mentor. So, oh, uh, oh well, then maybe I'm wrong. Let let's let me check. Hang on just a minute. Let that's a very good question. So, student evaluation. Okay, so Google coding phase one evaluations and student. Okay, I'm going to look at Kara's email. So she says, "Oh yes, yeah, she says mentors and students begin submitting phase one evaluations." Okay, let me. Let me look at the at the Google Summer of Code guidelines then, because they should say that. I thought it was only. I thought it was only the mentors that submitted Phase One evaluations. Let me look and see. Just a minute. Okay. okay. Google Summer of Code 2021. Phase One. Okay. First five weeks of coding. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so come on, find is okay, so reading sixteen. Oh no, no, you Kara is correct. It says so so you probably should contact Google Summer of Code then because it says on there, here, I'll, I'll paste the link into the chat. Um, it says here on their timeline for July 12, mentors and students can begin submitting phase one evaluations. And then July 16 is phase one evaluation deadline. But you say you have not received email from Google Summer of Code inviting you as a student to provide your evaluation. Uh, yes. And, yeah, uh, so but, then, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was saying I just logged into their dashboard and I do see a submit evaluation button. So I think they, some email must, might have been missed, but then I can see that, oh, I, I, I have a button over here that says complete evaluation. So I missed that, I guess. Ah, okay. All right. All right. So, well, so I'm going to make a mention of that in in the um, in the CDF Slack channel for GSOC, that the phase one evaluations in office hours today, he sees he did not receive a link to the to submit the evaluation, but does see the evaluation or what you said it was an evaluation button yes complete evaluation button complete. Space complete. would you be willing to capture a screenshot of that just the segment of that screen that has the complete evaluation and paste it here so i could put it or or maybe you could reply to me in this in the slack channel yes uh, i can do both i took the screenshot Great, the same experience. Be sure that you complete the evaluation by July 16, by the July 16 due date. Uh, we do not 
want to miss submitting eva and eva all evaluations. There, okay. So you should be able to see that. I received the email and we've submitted the evaluation for our project. Yeah, great. This is also a good excuse to remind others that they need to be sure they get their evaluations in. I'm not sure that we can, that there's such a thing as reminding people too frequently to complete those evaluations on time. Google. Google seems quite serious about it. If we miss an evaluation deadline, they consider that a negative, negative for future applications from the project to join Google Summer of Code. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, I can understand. Actually, we are. Uh, it was like for everything they did send an email, so I was like, okay, I'll get an email. But then twelfth pass today, thirteen. I was like, oh, am I dropped out of the mailing list or something? Did others get? And today I was like, oh, I can just check the dashboard before actually writing an email and I saw the button. Right, right, exactly. So, and I'm going to paste into the chat thread on the CDF Slack is at here. Yes, I am on the. Great, so thank you. Oh, good. Okay. So you and that and that. Yeah. So you have that I think is the same thing I saw where I have a big button that says complete evaluation and the countdown timer that talks about that shows you only have this much time left before before you've run out of time. Okay. Very good. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Aditya. Thank you. Yeah, I, I don't have any other questions for now. Okay, well then let's, let's, you're welcome to, you're welcome to drop off if you'd like. I will remain on the call for another five minutes just in case someone else joins. Thanks very, very much for your contributions to Google Summer of Code and to the Jenkins project. Thank you. I'm really enjoying contributing to the project and learning oh, a lot. Well, I, Delighted that you're here. Thanks very, very much, Aditya. Thank you. I would drop off and fill the form. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, that's high Thank value. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.